Hello, this is Dark Emissary 617. It's been a while and I was out because um, the weather in my house is so hot and unbearable. I haven't been able to get many vids out, but I should try even harder to try and get you more content. So today I'm going to do something incredibly different. Just not too long ago, I managed to get from Amazon my... the Actually, it's my brother's... um the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure of Napoleon Bonafrog. I don't think anyone's really done this vid yet, so I'm happy to be one of the first, not saying the first, don't quote on me, but one of the first people to review this figure. So, to start off with, we're gonna just look at the box like normal. Napoleon Bonafrog, youngest mutant ninja frog. And, I'll look at the back. See his picture, his profile, and you can pause right there if you need to to read that. And then we can to look at some of the other things on the back. There's some new stuff here that are not out yet, but will be out soon. Um, Serpent Cry, I did get her in the mail with Napoleon, so glad that and some coming soon figures such as the uh, Savage Mikey as a nod to the episode when he was in Dimension X, uh, Monkey Brains and um, Mondo Gecko. Those aren't out yet but they will be eventually. And the only new thing on the bad guy side, the villains, is the Mutant Shredders as you can see there. It's like the Lobster and the Shrimp uh, Shredder clones. So, aside from the box though, let's take a look at good old Napoleon Bonafrog himself. Now, he looks amazing. Like, it's actually quite amazing how nice he looks. He, um, he is, I'll bet, he's actually an homage to Napoleon Dynamite, which is what they were going for, according to Nickelodeon, and it's quite clear of that, because he has the... He speaks with that famous voice, like, he's like, gosh, and so uninsp- seems so bored out of his mind, but he's a very fun character, he's uh, friends with Michelangelo, like you'd expect, and the paint is surprisingly not bad, like, you see he has the pink lips, and, um, he has the teeth just there, and his eyes are squinty, but, uh, you can see his, like, blue eyes there if you look very carefully. And even the mud, or the dirt, or whatever you want to really call that, is painted brown on his head. And the leaf is green, so, but that's fine. Then you have his, uh, his, uh, iconic, um, unicorn shirt, Happiness is Friends, on it. He had this in the show, and it's actually painted very nicely, I have to say. He has the pinkish, like, magenta fanny pack around his waist, and... He has like the band here that's painted and the chain bit, but it's not painted on the leg for some reason. The thing I'm kind of disappointed on is if you saw on the back of the box, he had like like all these black spots on like his back and um his arms and legs, but they're not painted, so that's a little unfortunate, but not too bad. But his articulation now, on the other hand, let's see. His head does turn. It's uh, pretty tight, but um does turn. His arms do go swivel hinge so they can go up and down and you know in and out. They're kind of positioned awkwardly and it would have been nice to have like a bicep swivel to straighten his arms out but you know it's like I guess you could like put on his hips like that and such and he uh surprisingly he doesn't have waist articulation. It looks like he would because the cut there but it actually doesn't. His legs just go like you'd expect. Swivel hinge, in and out, and back and forth. His legs, he actually stands well. Never mind, he actually does. I had trouble standing him up, but that's because I put him on a soft floor. Now, what he comes with is like this... The lighting doesn't do you justice, but it's like an olive greenish, like, brownish, um, spear. It's like, it's got the, like, caveman stone, like, um, spear. Attach this stick. You just simply put it in his hand, which... Yeah, you can position it like so. 
There's not really many ways to hold the spear because of the way his arms are, but it's a nice accessory. It's a nice accessory. He has something that he comes with, at least. Now, if you can tell by the shadow, you can tell. Um, here he is next to my good old pal Snakeweed, my all-time favorite figure still in the line. As you can see, Snakeweed still towers over this guy. Like, he is ridiculously short next to Snakeweed, but... That's about okay. He's supposed to be... Oops, sorry about that. He's, um, supposed to be, like, slightly taller than Michelangelo. And I don't have him with me right now to show, but I think he might be an okay scale. He's not a bad scale, you can see here. He's not, like, super short, but he's not insanely tall either, so... He gets the job done for what he is. And overall... I'm actually very impressed by him. He's not a bad figure. The figures have been getting a little lackluster lately and kind of almost disappointing because of lackluster paint jobs, but I really like this one. My Napoleon Bonafrog is a really good looking figure. Now, as for his um leader, Artilla the Frog, I can't say. I don't have him right now, but I can tell he's a little underwhelming as opposed to Napoleon. And I don't know if Rasputin or... Genghis Frog are going to get made, but let's just have our fingers crossed and hope for the best. So, I guess that's all I got to say. This has been the review for Napoleon Bonafrog from the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line uh, show. This is Dark Emissary, signing out.